everyone. Welcome to this beautiful day in Columbia, South Carolina as we celebrate the 21st Mayor's Breast Cancer Awareness Breakfast as better known as the Isabel Law. And thank you all for being here with us. Um, incredible, named after an incredible person, dedicated and put more passion, serving advocate for folks battling breast cancer. Uh, not only from nine to five, but from five to nine, she was there all the time, weekends and nights with everybody holding their hand. And it's just an incredible uh, role model for us on how important it is to be part of the community. As we've been moving around the city talking at our town halls, talking about being a piece of the puzzle. Isabel Law was the original piece of the puzzle. She touched more lives. So y'all, let's give, let's, let's give her a hand because I know she's watching, making sure that we, we keep moving forward and we keep supporting the patients uh, in their journey. And just so you know, the history behind it. Ms. Law it helped over 5,000 cancer patients in her time. 5,000 people she touched. You talk about being a piece of that puzzle and part of it. She took it, to her, her mission was to educate, to support, and to continue to uplift both women and men battling cancer. As you know, breast cancer, um, affects so many lives as we're all here we've all been touched one way or another by breast cancer either a family a colleague a co-worker my mother-in-law passed away from breast cancer my sister-in-law is a survivor two of my favorite people here in the city are breast cancer survivors miss hammond and miss shanique belton they're two true testimony on that we can beat this and we can do it together and we're going to continue to do that and i think that's one of the most important things that we remember about miss law she was positive she always went into everything is we're going to fight and we're going to fight hard and we're going to beat this and we're going to beat it with pride dignity and let it know that pink wins every time But as we know, breast cancer affects so many lives and why it's so important that we keep investing in the latest technology for uh, detection, but also reminding people that you need to have your checkups, you need to get your mammograms, you need to do everything you can to prevent breast cancer. And early detection saves lives. We, do we lose? There we go. Are we lose it? Oh, there we go. But I also think it's very important that I want to thank the committee. Will the committee stand up? If you're sitting down or wave your hands. These ladies work hard to make sure this thing happens. And uh, they really want to see me in a pink suit. So if you got some extra coins, change, checks, Venmo, we take it all. Um, we'd love to get there and be on. William beat me to the pink suit. If you haven't seen, William, stand up. Show him what I'm going to look like. I don't know if I can get the shiny shoes like he has, but I definitely can get into the suit. But we're excited to be here again this year celebrating. But I would like to ask uh, Ms. Saunders from Prisma Health, from the development team, to come up and say a few words. I know the executive director couldn't be here this morning, but he did bring, leave a check, so that's okay. We'll take his money. Thank you, Mayor Rickman. We we're just so excited. Um, it's a, a joyful morning to be out here uh, raising awareness about early detection of breast cancer and why that's so important. Uh, thank you to the city for your um, just continuing to make this a priority every year. Um, it is something that we're so proud of to be associated with Isabel Law's legacy. She was the very first nurse navigator uh, for what was Palmetto Health Breast Center and is now Prisma Health um, Breast Center. And that is a program that is supported through our Walk for Life and famously Hot Pink Half Marathon, which is coming up next Saturday. Um, at Segra Park. So visit walkforlifecolumbia.org and get registered. And we hope that we'll be out there um, next Saturday with all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We look forward to seeing everybody at the walk. 
Um, it's another great way to support our campaign against breast cancer. Um, but we're blessed today because Miss Law left us with some beautiful daughters that are here today. Miss Monique Law, Miss Tamara Law here. I, I don't know if y'all would like to say a few words about, we got a designated speaker, I can tell. They already had flipped a coin. They had already flipped a coin. And so um, would you like to say a few words about your mother and her fight? Um, thank you all for coming out here. Um, you know, our mom has been gone for 15 years, but just to see her impact and her legacy still going on in the city that she loved and grew up and was born in, still honoring her, we just thank you all for this. You know, as we continue to, to, to raise money and talk about it, but we also have to talk about the reality that each year 240,000 cases of breast cancer are diagnosed in women and 2,100 in men. About 42,000 women, 500 men in the U.S. die each year from breast cancer. We are going to beat this at some point, folks, but we're going to do it by that we're not going to give up. We're going to continue to fight in memory of our, our family members who we've lost, in memory of people who never gave up, who supported folks like Miss Law, who we can't say enough for because she was such an inspiration for everyone. But she was there in every moment with folks, and that's what we got to do. To beat this, we have to do it together. You cannot fight it alone as we as a group of family Colombians coming together can make a difference. So if you haven't seen your friends, your colleagues, your co-workers here this morning, everybody's got a cell phone. I want you to get on your phone right now and dial them up. Tell them we got eggs, we got bacon, we got pancakes, we got food trucks. They need to come down here and spend money. We got another hour to go, so let's sell it out because I want to be standing on Main Street with pink hair and a pink suit wearing a sign that says thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your continued support. And I hope that each and every one of you will continue to join us and continue to bring awareness to this disease that affects so many lives. Hey, I just want to say it's interesting that, first off, my name is Sherry Norris. I am the owner of Alayla and Alayla Cancer Society. Um, it's interesting being surrounded both sides by Isabel's daughters and then by Palmetto Health because it actually brings it all full circle. So Isabel Law, when we first started, we do breast prosthesis, bras, and uh, and post-surgical camisoles for breast cancer patients after they've had their surgery. And actually it was Isabel that was like, girl, we are gonna get you into Prisma because our patients need you. And she fought as an advocate for her patients to make sure that mastectomy bras, breast prosthesis and camisoles are made available to her patients. And so through that, through the walk, the walk actually pays for post-surgical camisoles for after a woman has had a mastectomy. So each woman that's had a mastectomy at Prisma Health gets a post-surgical camisole from the hospital, and we provide that to the ladies through the hospital. So it is, it's, it's great to see it full circle. And so we are out here in the community today. We're passing out our pink bracelets just to educate. Our education is so important um, for those ladies that have been diagnosed. A lot of ladies have no idea if that they had a mastectomy or a lumpectomy or reconstruction that their insurance will actually cover them to get bras and a prosthesis to make sure that they're balanced out. Because even after a lumpectomy or reconstruction, your needs are still a little bit different than they were before you had surgery. So your insurance does cover that kind of stuff. And so if you are underinsured or uninsured, that's when our nonprofit picks up. So no matter who you are, what your financial situation is, when you walk through our doors, you're gonna walk out feeling confident, balanced, and whole. So. 
um, just reach out to us and we will help you with your journey and uh, we look forward to seeing you and thank you so much for having us here and spreading the word.